Hi, Dr. Felton here um, to show some exercises for recovery from a luxating patella or to try to strengthen the leg to reduce the incidence of luxating patella. And um, so once we've gotten the initial soreness and um, inflammation down and swelling and we have more willingness to use the leg, then we can start some of these exercises. And so I have my friend Jorge here with me. When I first found Jorge, he was three legged lame, he would not put weight on his right hind leg at all. And we worked um, on all these exercises and ended up having a guy who uses all four legs all the time. His gait isn't perfect, but he's comfortable and active and really, really loves toys. So we have his little drumstick here and we're gonna use it with some of these exercises. So one of the first ones that I did with him um, when we were recovering um, from his um, kind of uh, severe luxation was I would dance him, so kind of hold him under his armpits like a little kid, and with good footing, I'm in the rehab room here, I would, I would dangle him down toward the ground and ask him to reach for the floor. You can see him reaching, good boy. And he would reach with both legs usually because he felt kind of unstable, like, oh, I gotta catch myself. And so he would catch it. And then I'd give him his weight and encourage him, tell me, he's a good boy. There goes a the tail wag. See, he's so proud of himself. And then we go up again and we go down. Oh, catch it. Oh, good job. And he catches himself. And then we give him a little bit of weight and say, good boy. Good boy. So proud of you. Okay, good. So that's good. And then in this position, we can also dance. So we can just stay on the, on the legs and we can sidestep a little. So you can kind of push him toward the leg that you're interested in him leaning on and have him sidestep toward it. Good. And then we'll do it again. One, two, three. Good boy. Good. Good job. Proud of you. Okay. Let's do the fun one. So he likes the toy game much, much more. So I would um, do tug of war like games. See how motivated he is by this. Some dogs, it takes food to motivate them like this. With Jorge, it's getting his toys. So as you can see, instead of holding him under his armpits, I can just get him to stand up like this. Um, again, with good footing, we don't want him slipping here. And I would reward him with a toy. So it's like, oh, you're doing such a good job, buddy. So I'd get him to grab onto it, really motivate him. Come here, bud, come this way. Okay, he wants to play tug. And then, and then, um, and then try to sidestep him from there. So you see, I'm getting him to kind of hop side to side. Good, 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 good. Lots of motivation. So positive reinforcement for him is when he makes it squeak. And so I'm helping him kind of make it squeak. Good boy. Up, up, up. Come up high. Come up high. Good. There he is. And then we sidestep. Good. Oh, we're kind of sliding him, but that's pretty good. Good job, buddy. And then every once in a while, I'd let him win and let him have it so he can celebrate and shake it and like just really feel like he did it. When he started to get really, really tired and he started to really favor that side, we would switch to another exercise or give him a break. Um, but we would try and do repetitions of these exercises where I could find a pattern of play or find a pattern of kind of assisted two-legged stands where just the two feet are on the, on the ground, the two hind feet different positions I could work with his body to get him to step on it and use it more. That's really what we're looking for. And we want it to be fun. So we really want to be able to take um, some normal exercises in life like this and encourage him to use both hind legs evenly. So we're playing in a pattern where we can, and, and working on sidestepping and sidestepping, we're working on the lateral parts of our thigh we're stepping over and we're pushing, we're stepping over and we're pushing, and we're trying to kind of build the outside of the thigh muscles um, so that they pull the patellas kind of back in place. They wanna slide inside and we're trying to pull them outside. So a lot of side stepping and a lot of like catching ourselves with our hind feet and in positions where we can kind of get consistency with weight bearing, we try to repeat those over and over. And another trick um, that I did with him was I found that deep 
grass or deep substrates outside um, were a good fit for, those were times when I would notice that he was using it just spontaneously. Instead of favoring it a little bit, like on slick surfaces when he was in grass that was particularly deep for his tiny legs, I would see that he kind of had to four wheel it and use all four. So I would take him out in the yard way out far where the grass was relatively deep. It was We were past due to mow and I would put him way out there and he'd be like, darn it, I have to make it all the way back through that deep grass. And he would, he would use all four legs, not perfectly evenly, but it was great strengthening. He, he kind of had to use that fourth leg, even though he didn't really want to. And I knew he was at a point where he was more comfortable, so I knew he could do it, but he just had to kind of get over that like reluctance and habit of not using it too. I hope that helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.